summon difference of powers. We, we talked about this earlier in the year, you may remember. But A to the power of n minus B to the power of n. We, we've seen difference of two squares. We've seen difference of two cubes. It can be generalised out. And I, say, I suppose the reason we place it here in series and sequences is have a look at the, the second parentheses. And it's, it's like a pattern, a series there. So the, it always starts with A minus B. And then powers of A go down by one. Powers of B go up by one. But in that second parenthesis, the two powers should always add up to be n minus one, whatever n minus one is. But you'll notice that's just for difference. Sum, it will start with a plus b, and in the second one it alternates, plus minus, plus minus, plus minus, and so on. However, you can only do a sum if it's an odd power. You don't have a nice neat one like this for the sum of two squares, for instance. When we've seen sum of two squares, we do it by saying, oh, well, sum of two squares will be a plus b all squared minus the, the 2ab. So we don't have a neat factorization for it like that. Because what you're really doing with the sum is you're, you're still using the difference formula. But you're, you're going, oh, well, minus, minus b all cubed. And that's why it works when the power's odd. If the power's even, that wouldn't work because you can't pull out the, the negative. So that's why, yeah, it must be odd. So, yeah, x to the 5 minus 32, power's 5. So powers go down by 1, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Powers of 2 are going up by 1, 2 to the power of 0, 2, 4, 8, and so on. <laughs> so there you go. It's just a little exercise on that.